to another episode of Kanos Confidential. This is episode five of season one. Sorry, five. Season one. And today on the show, we have none other than Bianca Chapman. Now, Bianca, what's your middle name? Elizabeth. Like the okay. queen. I'm going to have to think of something a bit more catchy for the, the subtitle, but Bianca Elizabeth Chapman, thanks for coming on the show. How you doing? Good, good. <laughs> yeah, how, how's lockdown treating you? Um... I'd like to say good, but it's been kind of like insane yeah. with kids. Sorry, what was that last bit? It's been insane with kids, you know? Oh, okay. Just doing all of their things and keeping them busy and all of that stuff. Okay, yeah. So you're, you're taking care of your relatives uh, who are, how old, how old are they? Violet and John. For those of us so, who are... They're one and two. Oh, wow. Like little devils <laughs> <laughs> keep me busy all the yeah. time yeah yeah it's it's interesting yeah so you um you're looking after a one and two year old pretty crazy uh you also work as well yeah right so yeah. what's a day in your life look like take us through your daily routine okay so i wake up around before seven and um, I get up, stumble my way through everything, like to the kitchen and make some breakfast or something to keep me like going. Um, always have to have the coffee, obviously. Uh, and then I get dressed and scoot on down to work. And uh, I'm there for about three and a half hours. And then I come home and do some stress cleaning and um, <laughs> stress baking or stress cooking. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and then I have a nap sometimes, mm -hmm. if I'm lucky. Um, and then I go and pick up the kids and come home and cook again. <laughs> oh, jeez. So were you, before isolation and lockdown, were you a pretty good cook? Like, did you cook most days? No. So, so have you really honed your skills in this lockdown period? Um, I'd like to think so, but yeah. I'm still pretty bad at cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I, I think I cook about five out of seven days now rather than like three. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of cooking. Yeah, and like I make um, some prepared meals and stuff like that. So like um, if I come home, I don't really want to cook. I just take it out of the fridge and bam it in the microwave and there you go oh meal prep yeah that's how you know you're an adult is when you start thinking about <sighs> everything prep. makes you an adult <laughs> like yesterday i legit took all of my bedding off and washed it and then put it all back on and i'm just like what am i doing with my life i never do this <laughs> wow. yeah that's like serious adulthood at at our house, we just have, I don't know how it happens, but every week the bed sheets change themselves <laughs> and we get, for, like, I don't know if we have someone who comes in when I'm not around, um, but I really, hope, I really hope Candace doesn't watch this episode because I'm going to cut it. <laughs> um, so, with your, so you got like a very busy schedule, it sounds like, especially because taking care of kids is like a full-time job. So you go, you go to yeah. work and then you come and you start like taking care of the kids and taking care of the house. Um, do you do you ever find time for yourself, like to relax or to take it easy? I got asked this question today at work. Oh, yeah. yeah, I did, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I mean, like the cleaning is kind of like my therapeutic me time. I just talk to myself, but okay. I tend to talk to myself all the time, so <laughs> I don't really know when I have me time, really." Yep. I only get about half a day off each week. So it's kind of like, um, yeah, I don't know. It's not a lot of time off uh, in the week. Do you, what do you like, what do you do in your, in your free time? What's your um, in my free time. That's a good question. <laughs> I tend to just like, like snooze. Yeah. Catch up on the rest. Yeah, because that's really important. <laughs> like, to function, I need sleep. And if I don't have sleep, then I am just, it's just not happening. It just doesn't, yeah. 
it just doesn't work. Um, but I tend to now uh, lie in bed and just listen to some music and just kind of, you know, relax back and just think about all the good things in life. Yeah. Positive <laughs> thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Positive Bring life. the good vibes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. What are you listening to at the moment? Any good music recommendations for people watching? Oh, I'm actually listening to all the songs on the radio. It's yeah. quite bad. <laughs> because in the morning, like every time I go in the car now, I just listen to the radio. Yeah. And like the people on the radio shows are so funny. I, I just cannot. <laughs> and it's so like relatable to my life. I just, oh. But um, <laughs> I think right now I'm just listening to whatever and yeah, I don't know, like just anything that's upbeat kind of, even like slow because it's that vibe, you know, yeah. of just, yeah. Yeah, something upbeat in the morning to get you going. Yeah. Slow to calm you. Yeah, I get you. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah. I've just been listening to country music nonstop. Really? So, yeah. Oh um, anything with a lot of yodeling in it. <laughs> uh, and you, you might think I'm joking, but you can ask Chandis. No. <laughs> she gets quite annoyed. I wasn't I expecting you to say that. <laughs> yodeling. I can link you to some good... Uh, some, some good Please. Yeah, after, this, after this, I'll send you some good stuff. <laughs> so... So when was the last time, let's get this back on track. Sorry. Um, no, no, it's my fault, my fault. When was the last time you remember uh, you went to church in the building? Before we went oh. To, you know, oh, my goodness. And it was the last youth, I think. Last youth, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. quite a while ago. And I dyed my hair too. So it was okay. kind of around the same time. So like, oh, Okay, cool. Two or three months. Two months, I think. Jeez. Are you missing the coming of youth in the building? Yes, I am, actually. I didn't yeah. realise how much I was missing it until li literally, like, a week ago. I was like, oh, I just want to get up and leave this place and just, like, go see everyone and get a hug or a high five. Yeah. It's like, hey, Bianca! Oh, hey, everyone! Kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, I miss that. And, like, the atmosphere because you know it's it's something it's something else where you can't get through a screen you need people around you in order to mm -hmm. feel comfortable and safe that's how i yeah absolutely a lot of people have said that there's something about the atmosphere of gathering together that you can't unfortunately you can't replicate over over a screen over zoom yeah um but do you do you find this might be a personal question do you have you has god spoken to you or have you felt like a move of god or anything like that his presence during like church online or youth online um to be honest not really but mm -hmm. i mean i think i see it in a different perspective like um i'm actually I'm actually attending church all the time now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I guess that's kind of sad, but true because, you know, like we didn't really, I didn't really make a priority before. And um, now I watch the miracle service. I watch Sunday service. I actually really enjoy it now. Like, I don't know what has changed, but that's, yeah. Like mom just puts it on and I'm just like, oh, I didn't realize it was Thursday today, <laughs> but it's a, um, yeah, it's good. Like it's yeah. playing in the house. Like you've got the kids, you know, they're, they're looking and they're interested in it too. So it's not just for one person, it's for everyone. And I just think that, yeah, it's, it's changed the, the perspective and priority. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah sometimes I don't know what day it is until it's Thursday and I get that notification saying miracle service is about to start. I'm like, Oh yeah, it's Thursday. <laughs> it's Thursday. <laughs> I wasted my week. <laughs> oh, how did I get here? <laughs> it's a constant struggle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's, let's imagine COVID never happened in 2020. Sorry. In like yeah, 19 and 
2019 and into 2020. What would you have done in 2020? Like, what was your goal for the year, or you know, any any exciting plans that you had to cancel? Uh, I didn't really have anything planned. I kind of wanted to just do something spontaneous, like traveling overseas. Yeah. Um, I've been saving for that, and hopefully, maybe 2022. Who knows where we'll be. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think something, uh, you know, just out of the blue kind of thing. Cause I, yeah, I used to do a lot of things like that. Like just randomly go on a day trip or go to the movies. I miss the movies. Oh (laughs) my gosh. I was just like, why? If, if it was, oh. You know, you can't, you can't. Oh, no. Yeah, it's so sad. No movies coming out either. Like they're not, no, they're exactly. Not yeah. Nothing is coming out. And all the movies that you wanted to see, they're not, they're, there's this, where did they go? They're yeah. just, poof, gone. gone. They mean Thanos. Gone. Done. Poof. Forget about so, those. <laughs> so, so, okay, 2022, let's imagine we're all good. You've saved up, you've got your travel fund, and you're ready to book a spontaneous trip. Where are you going? Oh. I'm going to Europe. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> yeah, see the family? Yeah, or see the family. explore some other cities? And, yeah, actually go uh, further this time. I want to go to Scotland. Because, wow, wow whew, that, that landscape. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. It would be so nice. And um, Germany, just because, like, the, yeah. yeah. Russia, who knows? Like, all of wow. the places that, yeah. Yeah, that are you like? Do you prefer solo travel, or are you do you like to be in a group or with some like family or friends? Um, I want to do solo travel just mm-hmm. to experience that, but yeah. I feel like I'm a group kind of person. Yeah. Although, like my first trip ever, I was the person that took control of everything. So I had my mom, my uncle's passports with me too. And like they, I would literally just like round them up. I'm like, we have to go. The plane's about to leave. Come on. Like <laughs> they would just be running behind. <laughs> and they can't go anywhere. Cause I got their passports. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I mean, yeah, I, I think I'm a group traveler. I love, yeah. So being, when you're traveling in a group, do you automatically become the parent? Yeah. Is that what I'm sort of like assuming? Yeah. yeah. I'm parenting the parent. <laughs> yeah, it's, it seems that like, way. Mom, which is jump, good. Jump, please. <laughs> you gotta have someone who's organized, otherwise you're exactly. sort of Exactly. Otherwise you'd just be in shambles. Like where where would you be? Like yeah. they don't know anything. Yeah. They don't know anything. <laughs> <It's not laughs> is there is there a chance your mum's gonna watch this? I don't know, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna make sure she gets the link directly. <gasps> no time stamp to that comment. No, I'm stamped. We wouldn't do that to you. But maybe our executive producer Jenna might do it. Um oh, she, she does rude. that. Um all right, cool. So what we're gonna do now is uh for those of you who have seen the show, all ten of you, uh we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do some quick fly questions. Um some more lighthearted stuff. All right, are you ready for it? I think so. All right, cool. Tell me what food makes you instantly want to vomit. Like, what's one thing you can't stand? Um, coriander. Coriander. I can't even say it. Cori- coriander. Really? Yeah. I, if I have too much of it, I can't. Oh, my gosh. I think I want to cut this interview short. Okay, that bye. Such a, that's such <laughs> an offensive answer. <laughs> um, Sorry, oh yeah. my bad. No judgment. No judgment. No judgment. All right. No um, judgment in your face. Come on. <laughs> um, okay, are you a night person or a morning person? I'm a night person. Night out, okay. Um, what's your favourite book in the Bible? Uh, I think it's Genesis. Like, so cliche, but Genesis, because everything is, oh, it's like... Wow. Everything was nice before we yeah, stuffed it exactly. up. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, last one. If you could go on a date with any person from any time in history, who would it be? (laughs) Um, (laughs) I think Obama. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes, I love that. 
Why? Tell us why. He's so like, you know, he's so inspirational. And like, if Obama comes, then Michelle comes and they come in a duo. And then boom, you've got like, you know, this greatness just in front of you. Like You're just I, hanging with your Obamas. I love that. Exactly. That's a great answer. Thank you. I thought you were going to say Sean Mendes, but... No! Come well, on. Well, it's not wrong with Sean Mendes, but yeah, Obama's probably going to be a better date. I mean, like, he's just so cool and he's so, like, swaggery and all that. He's just got it. Yeah, he's he does. He's got it all going on. Exactly. He's got everything going on. Well, maybe in 2022 you could walk past... I don't know. Even, does he even live in Washington anymore? I don't know. But uh, add that to your He's itinerary. always travelling, though. That's the thing ah. I've noticed. He's always traveling. He's always on a plane waving goodbye. Well, not anymore, probably. Who knows? They get paid a lot of money still. Well, that's true. <laughs> hopefully, yeah, hopefully he's not spreading COVID around the world. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Thanks, Obama. All right. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been a real pleasure to interview. Now, the last question we always ask every guest You've got one shot here. A message to all of Kanos youth who's watching. Go for it. Um, I miss you guys. I love you. <laughs> I want to give you a hug. <laughs> oh. And also just keep keep going. Like we're we're almost there. We're 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 heading towards the green, the green, and yeah, we'll we'll get there. Awesome. That's a, that's a really nice message. That's very inspirational. <laughs> Well, Bianca, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank Have you. a great week. Uh, for everyone else who's watching, we'll see you at Youth Online this Saturday. And as we always say, hopefully in the building soon, stay safe and stay away from COVID. See you. <laughs>